Hello everyone, welcome to Organalysis. So welcome to another video of the name reaction series. Now we are continuing our organometallic based reaction or cross coupling based reactions. So in this video, I am taking an important cross coupling reaction that is called the Strelay cross coupling reaction. Now it has two different parts. One is normal Strelay cross coupling, another is the Strelay carbonylation cross coupling reaction, right? So first thing we have to do, this is a similar kind of as, as we have already done in case of Heck, Negeshi, Suzuki. So it is, it is also a similar kind of carbon-carbon sigma bond formation reactions. So in this case we are going to get a simple carbon-carbon bond formation reaction but the substrate is quite changed uh, in this case of Steele cross coupling reaction. So first we have to know the basic things of this Steele cross coupling reaction is that that we are taking any kind of uh, R1 with this tin. So this is used in this uh, Steele cross coupling reaction that is called the organotin or organostanin based catalyzed reactions also. So this R1 group is basically in your uh, either alkyl uh, either alkyl or aryl this kind of things can be used as a R1 and this R2 which is uh, connected to the an halide or X which is a kind of leaving group in this case so we are taking an organohalide so this R2 uh, can be your aryl or acyl or alkanyl like all those things so this is your R1 and this is your R2 and we can use this palladium we have to use this palladium zero as a catalytic amount along with this ligands so we know that which type of ligands are basically used that is pH3 type of ligands are used in this reaction and palladium in zero catalytic is zero state which is catalytic amount which uh, catalyze this uh, reaction cycle right so we are going to get this coupled product so we are getting an coupled product over here which is carbon carbon bond formation reactions and this X and this organotin is leave from the system as the rest part so this is what it is this tla cross coupling reaction but what about this tla uh, carbonylation reaction so from the name you can identify this is a carbonyl formation reaction so you are going to, uh, to uh, going to start with this same compound that is an organotin uh, as a uh, coupling partner and the organohalide as a coupling partner we are going we are going to use this both and with this we have to use this palladium zero and this is the important reagent that is a carbon monoxide you have to use in this reaction to get the uh, uh, steel a carbonylation reaction so this is uh, what the important step for this reactions and then you should use this ligand also so finally the product that you get you can see over here that is a uh, kind of ketone that if this R group is your alkyl or aryl or acyl group and along with that you are getting a uh, ketone or aldehyde kind of things of this from this reaction right so this is all about this TLA uh, cross coupling and carbonylation reaction the basic things now we have to start the mechanism that is quite important and that is quite similar to this all uh, that all we have done in the previous reactions also right so this is quite similar to that and first we have to use this palladium zero complex so we know that what will be our uh, starting material that is the palladium zero state we are using as a coupling partner here is the r2x that is the organohalide which is the step in, uh, that is called the oxidative addition so this is oxidative oxidative addition and we are using this r2x as the oxidative oxidative addition reagent so this palladium is now in oxidation state of 2 here is the r2 is attached over here and here is the X and along with this ligand right now we are using this uh, coupling partner that is your organostanin or organotin uh, that is we are using this SN alkyl hole 3 so this alkyl group uh, any kind of alkyl group can be used uh, using this uh, organotin coupling partner so here we are using this one to transmetallate this uh, this compound so we know what is transmetallation from the above concept uh, from the uh, previous discussion we know that what is the transmetallation reaction i'm not going to discuss over here so this is the transmetallation step that we are using this r1 sn we can say it's r1 sn r3 that is r is your alkyl any kind of alkyl group so it can transmetallate to here that this x can live with this SN R C group and this R1 is which is attached to this now it now it is which is attached to this steam now it is going to attach with the palladium 
so this is what it is the transmutation step that is palladium is now attached with the r2 and along with this r1 and we give it is this ln right so from here we can get this x is in r3 as a li living group and this step is called the transmetallation right transmetallation so this is what the transmetallation over here and the final product that we get we know that the last step is the reductive elimination and which has to be seen in nature so this is uh, seen in nature so it can leave from the system so the reduct from the reductive elimination so reductive elimination from here we can get this r1 and r2 as a couple product and the major product from here and finally we can get this palladium zero uh, by using this catalytic cycle right so this is all about the mechanism of the steel a cross coupling reactions but now what about the steel a carbonylation cross coupling reaction so we know that the first step is quite similar but we have to introduce this uh, carbon monoxide as a carbonyl group in this reaction that we can get this uh, kind of ketone or aldehyde all those things right so first we have to see the mechanism so we are now going to discuss the second part of this reaction is the that we are using this palladium zero with this ligand so here we are using the same compound that is the r2x as the oxidative addition i am not written over here so oxidative addition this is the first step for this reaction so after using this r2x so we know what will be the product palladium is now going to oxidation state of 2 this is the r2 and x with this ln now we have to introduce this uh, carbon monoxide and uh, that is generate over here uh, from that we are using in this reaction condition that is the carbon monoxide so so this is your insertion step this step is called the insertion step so now how to in uh, how this uh, seo will insert in this uh, compound it is basically that palladium is now in two along with this ligand attached this x is fixed which is over here now this co with insert with this uh, co this carbon is attached with this palladium and this r2 group is now attached with this c uh, triple bond or c double bond o like in this way c double bond o with this r right now how to do this well, it is quite similar that we can write this over here so triple bond O so this is uh, uh, this uh, R group is migrate over here this R group is migrate over here and these bonds go like this and this palladium is now attached with this carbon so similarly we can get this kind of intermediate from here so this is your now R2 so now this important step that is the transmetallation step so from here we are using this similar uh, organotin reagent that is R1 SNR3 so this can transmetallate that is X SNR3 can leave from the system so this is your transmetallation uh, I am not in over us reaction so this is your transmetallation now finally this uh, R1 group is now attached with this one so this palladium 2 along with this ligand this is your R1 C double bond O this is your R2 now this overall group can uh, leave from the system which is called the reductive elimination step so from this reductive elimination step we can get this product that is your r1 this whole group can leave from the system and finally the product that we get is this one so this is how we can get the steel a carbonylation reaction so this method is called the steel a carbonylation cross coupling reaction right so this is all about the mechanism of this both two right let's see some examples that are quite important and which you can easily predict what will be the product so let's see the examples for this reactions now first example that we have is this one that is a given a big substrate over here and this kind of uh, reagent which is over used to over you that is this uh, indole kind of thing along with this s and b3 now you can easily uh, predict what will be the product now this carbon and which which of this and uh, then there is a three type of living group over here that is one is cl two cl and third is a br so we know from the reactivity order and uh, that is the iodine and uh, iodine and bromine these kind of things are quite uh, faster uh, as a it can use as a living group uh, as a organohalide partner and this lesser amount of cl so cl is quite uh, lower in 
and nature because of the carbon cell bond is quite strong so this bond and this bond is connected to each other by using this steria cross coupling reaction now one more important thing is that why this reaction is uh, too much important uh, for this reaction now this is uh, important because it can tolerate a wide range of varieties type of uh, functional products so that's why it is quite important another thing is that it is not sensitive to uh, moisture or oxygen like other reactive uh, organometallic compounds right so it can uh, tolerate some uh, highly varieties of functional groups so that is why the steel cross coupling is quite needed so so what will the, uh, now come to the point that we have is that the example you can easily predict what will be the product that this carbon and this carbon can participate to form a bond like this okay this is how it is this is an NH2 uh, this is what it is right so this is the major product and we have this SO2 pH and here then you have these two Cl groups in this position right so this is our major product from this reaction so we can easily predict what will be the product from this reaction second thing is that this question is uh, directly taken from the Laszlo Kurti book and this question was came in the gate 2018 year right so you have given this type of structure and uh, you have given this organo uh, tin region and along with this uh, all those things that is needed for palladium pps to photo all or heat now this heat is quite important because here is it uh, after this reaction of the steel cross coupling there is a possibility of the uh, dissolved reaction so that is why this heat is quite important for this reaction so let's see first the product that we have uh, that we are going to get of this after the steel cross coupling reaction so that this tin and this organo tin and this uh, organohalide uh, partner so it can form a bond so this position and this position Will, uh, after this uh, steel cross coupling reaction, they are going to get a, they are going to uh, form a bond uh, like this way. So you can write this product in this way. So this is your bock. This overall O T B D P S, and we have this double bond. This is N R. So we can uh, okay. So this is we can write N R. Now we can write this group in a sh uh, closer way that we have this two, two CH2 units so you can write this CH2 1 CH2 2 and this is your double bond and we know that these two position uh, can form a bond so that we can write this in this way so this is our uh, CO2 ME over here and this is what it is after this reaction now we can see if we see carefully that there is a possibility of 4 plus 2 uh, dissolved reaction or cycloaddition reaction and how it is that you have this 4 uh, pi electron over here and here is a 2 pi electron over here so it can form a bond so this is a, after the after the heating so there is a possibility of dissolved reaction or you can say that it is a 4 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction that this bond can go here this bond can go here this is go like this so this is the possibility of the Dilsolder reactions and after that you can get a uh, this kind of ring that is N R CO2 Me over here you have the double bond over here and you have the hydrogen you have the hydrogen this uh, CH2 N, uh, N is attached with the box and this position is now O T B D P S. So this is all about the product from this reaction. So this is quite important. And as you can see, this question was also came in the gate 2018 year. Right. So let's see another example that we have is this one. So this is quite simple uh, simple question because uh, there is a po uh, there is a, a give there is a given to you that is a organohalide and along with the organotin so you know what will be the product this position and this position will take form a bond and finally that we get from here is this one and this position so this is what it is the overall reaction right and you have this O T B D P S right so this is all about this um, uh, reaction and the product from this reaction right let's see another example that we have is this one so you can see over here this iodine is organohalide is given to you and this is a rest part i am not written over, written over here 
because uh, we have we don't uh, have to care about that one so we have to care that we have to take the organohalides and along with that this organotene compound and this PTCL to PSC which is the needed but you can see over here that is a carbon monoxide is given to you so you can say it is the type of uh, still a uh, carbonylation reaction so I have done all I have done a question on this stelia carbonylative uh, reaction in my Facebook page you can go over there and check out that uh, the question that we have already discussed over there and if you uh, haven't uh, checked my Facebook page and go to the description the link is given below there right so first we have to see that this one so we know that these two form a bond but uh, in between them there is a formation of the ketone group over there so what will be the major product from this reaction is that this is the left rest part and we have to use this double bond and this is now attached with this one so this is our major product we can get a biphenyl types of ring uh, so sorry not a biphenyl it's a kind of uh, benzophenone type of ring so we can get this type of product from here right let's see some previous year question that we have now this question was came now one question we already have discussed that uh, the in K 2018 question now this question was came in the CSINA December 2018 question says that you have given alpha beta unsaturated ketone cyclic ketone and first step you have given this I2 pyridine second step is the palladium with this organotene so from this reagent you can easily identify this is a type of uh, still a cross coupling reaction because there is a no carbon monoxide is given so it is a type of still a cross coupling not the carbonylation so third step is given the NABH4 CACLT we know that this is a Luce reduction so this first for this reaction we have to do the first step that we have the this uh, uh, double bond is given to you and this I2 is also given to you so we know that we can write this I2 over here so this bond can go over here now this can take a form bond and this can leave from the system so it can form a cyclic iodonium type of ring in this way now you have two hydrogen over here, other is here and another is here, but which is uh, quite acidic. This is quite acidic because it is uh, adjacent to this uh, double bond O. So pyridine, it can take a proton from here. So this bond can go here, it can grow like this. So the final product that we get is this one, right? Now it is a uh, first step. Now second step that we have given this organotene and palladium, this is the steely cross coupling reactions. So this is SNBU3 right now this position this position will take a form of bond because uh, we know that this uh, organohalide and organotene can take form a bond by using the overall mechanism so this is all about this product from here that is this one right so this is about the uh, reaction we know we are not going to discuss the overall mechanism that's because we have already discussed that now this is a major product from this reaction so this is our steel a cross coupling reaction so this is our steel a cross coupling reactions now third step that we have given to you sodium borohydride along with this cerium trichloride now we know that is a luce reduction reaction so if you don't know that what is the luce reaction how this reaction works i have already uh, made a video on this reduction reaction topic and i have covered all those topics related to these reduction reactions you can go and check out the description box that i have already i have already discussed there and you can find the link also over there so this is this luce reduction basically uh, reduce this selectively ketone only so it can reduce the ketone to uh, alcohol so the from this reaction we are going to get this ketone to alcohol over here and without intacting these double bonds so we are getting this final product uh, that is uh, this from this reaction right so i think i have covered all those topics related to the steel a cross coupling and steel a carbonylation reaction if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section i will definitely try to answer all those questions right so if you have liked if you like this video press the like button and hit the subscribe uh, hit the subscribe button and press the not uh, press the notification button to get the earlier notification right so that's it for this video and thank you so much for watching